Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are basically going to discuss why Python is the best programming language for machine learning. So let's start. Python is currently the best programming language for research and development in machine learning. And just don't go by my words. Recently, the Google trend has basically shown from the past five years, the interest in Python programming language has gone to a whole new level when compared to other programming languages like Java, R, Scala, Julia, and Spark. And as from the Google trend that we have seen, that Python is one of the most popular languages, but still the question exists, why? Why is Python programming so popular for machine learning techniques? So let us go and understand the four specific reasons why Python has become a most popular language for machine learning techniques. The first reason is Python is very easy to use. Now when, you, when I say it is very easy to use, that basically means that the syntax of Python is very much simple. If you have some basic knowledge of one programming language, learning Python is just like a cup of tea. You will be able to learn it very quickly within one to three months that depends on the speed of your learning itself this simplicity of python has made most of the corporate companies to use python for most of their research and development work the other difference between python and the other programming languages is that you will be able to implement most of your work with less lines of code when compared to the other programming languages let me just give a very good experience of mine itself for one of the programming language for which i was working i was basically writing a code on java and for the same work Actually, it took me around 200 lines of code for Java, but when I tried to do that same thing with the help of Python, it hardly took me around 20 to 20, 30 lines of code. The second reason is Python has multiple libraries and frameworks. As Python is an open source programming language, it has hundreds and hundreds of libraries along with different different frameworks, which the developer can use to basically complete their work. Let me mention some of the very important libraries that Python developer uses. Those libraries are NumPy, Pandas, Skykit-Learn. NumPy is basically used for creating multidimensional arrays and if you want to perform various operations within the arrays, you can basically use NumPy. Apart from that, you also have Pandas. Pandas library help you to read from different kinds of data sources so that you can basically retrieve the data and then with the help of data frames and data series, you can do different kinds of operations. There is also a visualization library that is present in Python which is pretty much popular like Matplotlib and Seaborn. Seaborn includes some more statistical analysis within their library so that you can visualize a data set and along with that you can also perform statistical analysis on that specific data. When I talk about Scikit-learn, this is one of the most popular libraries where most of the machine learning algorithm is basically present. So if you want to implement any machine learning algorithm, you will basically be using Scikit-learn as a library and you will be calling that specific algorithm and then you'll be applying that in your problem statement. Now Scikit-learn has all the different kinds of machine learning algorithm. Let it be supervised machine learning algorithm, unsupervised machine learning algorithms. When I talk about unsupervised machine learning algorithms, that basically means we are talking about clustering algorithms. So you have different types of clustering algorithms like k-min clustering, hierarchical mean clustering. Whereas if I talk about supervised machine learning algorithms, you have simple linear regression, you have logistic regression, you have decision tree, random forest, ADA boost, gradient boosting, and many more. Now when I talk about deep learning, which is a subset of machine learning, even for that, you have different kind of frameworks like TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, Theanos, and many more. These frameworks are one of the most popular frameworks, which you will be basically using to create deep learning neural networks. Apart from this, Python is also being used for creating web-based application, web services, web scrapping, and many more things. So this makes Python one of the most favorite language because it has a lot of functionalities included in it. The third reason is that Python has community and corporate support. When I talk about community and corporate support, that basically means many developers are using Python skills to basically increase their machine learning knowledge. Apart from that, they're also using Python for implementing various deep learning projects. And this is basically leading to the increase in the popularity of Python. Even though if you go and search in the Google, you'll be finding various GitHub links, various online repositories, various online learning resources apart from YouTube tutorials like mine, wherein we are basically teaching about machine learning techniques. And that is all because of Python. Many top companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon are basically using Python to implement most of their products. Now, some of the products that I would like to mention is that Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, you know, Siri from Apple. Apart from that, Netflix using it for Netflix movie recommendation system. Even Facebook is also implementing its friend recommendation system with the help of Python and along with the machine learning models. So this was all about this particular video. I hope you like this particular video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends. Please do support me in Patreon. The link is basically given in the description. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.